and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a redstone torch key. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The idea for this video was the fact that I was trying to make a video in which I wanted to make a hidden base and uh, I'm a pretty big redstone noob and I tried to look on YouTube and find some redstone torch key designs but I couldn't find anything so uh, I tried to do to do it myself and I came up with a pretty cool design and I'm going to show you how to build it and how you can use it in your builds. Okay, so for this you're gonna need two sticky pistons, one observer, of course a redstone torch, and a block of your choice. I hope I didn't forget anything. Okay. So, to build it, what you're going to do is place a sticky piston right there with a block, two blocks over it, and you place a sticky piston right here with a, oh sorry, with an observer facing in the, to the piston right. And you can place a block here or not, it's your choice, but I personally like it. having it hidden and how it works is pretty simple. And like, I don't want to say anything, but I think this is the smallest design recorded on YouTube because I didn't see anyone else posting it and also no one used this design and it's like this small and it's like so resource effective like other restaurant torch key designs that i somehow found were like involving uh repeaters uh reds some redstone and some rest and torch keys inside the system this is like tiny like look at this and like even if you oh sorry but powering. Yeah, but look, you only actually have logs there. And like, like, how did no one think of this? Like, I know, guys, I know, guys, maybe someone thought about it, but I didn't find no one on YouTube with this design. So, uh, I'll say that I, I, I'm the first one. Okay, so uh, now. Uh, how to uh, get an output out of this because like okay great you have a s tiny design for your and torch key but to power it it's uh, it's it's pretty hard because like you don't get any butt powering or anything like that but how i do it is by placing an observer let's say here and if you want and want to pause that's that's great but if you don't want to want to pause, I would place a redstone uh, repeater set to four two two ticks maybe also works. No, so it needs to be on four ticks, and uh, then you don't get the block sp spitting out, as you can see there. It retracts too, so you can use it in like redstone doors or something. Okay guys, so my use case for something like uh, a resting torch key is resting torch key here and you drop down into a hidden trap door. Of course you should make some act uh, activation mechanism from the bottom for you to get out. But this is just a showcase of the use case. Uh, this is just to show a use case of this. So it's pretty simple. We have the observer with the repeater set to four ticks. Here we have a pulse extender with the rest of the torch. Repeater set to um, 
three ticks and a repeater set to one tick going into this block. It, it, it's all pretty simple. And like, I, I still, I still cannot imagine how, how I never thought of this, like, this is genius. Oh, I'm so happy that I found uh, out about this. Hey guys, so uh, unfortunately that's all I've got time for today. But hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, leave a like, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss any.